Hi! Sorry about that. I wasn't expecting to take as long as I did. I, um... I'm a bit floored right now. Um, wait. Did I mute myself? Oh. Wait, am I, am I muted? Am I actually muted? Hold on a second. Wait. Am I muted? It doesn't say that I'm... Okay. Hold on. Oh, I was. Got it. Okay, okay. That was weird. Huh. Okay. Weird. Yeah, so sorry it took as long as it did. I took a little longer to get back than I thought. Um, I'm, I'm a bit floored right now. Not, not, not for the Morgan thing. I'm already happy about that. Don't get me wrong, but I, I, I've been in the background. I had one of my favorite artists, uh, and I've been kind of piecemealing this over like the past few months. I've been having one of my favorite artists do a commission for me for all of my main characters. So my, my myself, my model, and then all the other magisters in the new 2.0 outfit that I have for myself. And they just sent me the final product. At least, the final product for the moment. It, it's not fully colored yet. It will eventually be fully colored. But, it, oh my god, it looks so, it looks so, so, so good. I'm a little, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a little emotional about that. And, what, the thing, the thing of it is, the, the person that I the person that I commissioned from is somebody that I've been watching or following for nearly two decades at this point. I think I can safely say almost two decades that I've been following their work, and they their their art has only gotten better and better and better. And I'm now that I actually have the funds to be able to properly get commissions from them because I've gotten one before even, before even before I was a VTuber and just to see her the same person which I've actually talked about them before in the past there's some there are actually an artist that has inspired me in my own work on many occasions especially for my main series just to have them do the artwork or like the a, a piece for all my main characters is just i it's oh my god it's so good it, it's so freaking good it, it it's it's amazing oh my god sorry i i'm i'm sorry i'm getting i'm getting really emotional about that but it it's just I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. Star Rail, we've updated our Elu, um, Eula. Wait, is Star Rail out yet? Did the patch already drop, or is that later on tonight? I don't know. Um, uh, so, big fan, plus you've gotten what you, what you truly enjoy. Yeah, that's, that's literally how I'm, that's literally how I'm feeling right now. Don't mind me being very... No, 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 no. You're totally fine. You're, you're totally fine. You are totally fine you you understand where, where I'm coming from at the very least. If you're happy for it, that's good. Yeah, I'm beyond happy. I, 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 I'm I hoping to do... To get more commissions from them in the future. Not just so much for this piece, but for other projects as well. So, I'm... It's... It's wild, man. It's wild. But... I, unfortunately, until my 2.0 model is done, I can't share the piece, but I think I'm going to wait until I can save up enough to get it co fully colored. So, that l l look forward to that. It, it, the piece looks, it just looks, it looks so good. It looks so freaking good. <sighs> Game should be done in about two to three hours. Okay. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, 
I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to be on that long to be able to maybe do it, do Gotcha Hell live, but at the very least, I'll do a separate recording for my role so you guys can see how that whole nonsense ends up happening. <laughs> but anyway, but anyway, we're back. I've done my tangent. I'm done being emotional for the time being. Let's get into Avalon Le Fay and start crying. Fun fact for Star Wars. What about Star Rail? What, what fun fact? What do we got? Here we are. Merlin! Hey! Well, hello there. You with the still unknown fate? I trust you can hear me. Or perhaps hello again, Stargazer. Would be more appropriate. I, I swear to God, if you call us a trailblazer, I'm going to scream. Eh, either way, it doesn't really matter. You're here now, and I don't have to be bored out of my skull anymore. So will you hear what I have to say? I love the music for this. Are you just sitting in, in, in the Tower of Avalon right now, just hanging out? Because Morgan tricked you up in that tower, you can't get out? They actually now close your client so you can't camp until the servers open. Really? I thought that was... Huh. I didn't know that wasn't a thing that happened. I thought that was just something that just happened normally. Like, you get kicked out at a certain point. But I didn't know that you could camp out. Interesting. Okay, good to know. I suppose it's less what I have to say exactly than it's one of many songs the wind carried to me. But what songs? This is the story of a single future, what became of the island of mystics that was reduced to the land of the Fae. Love the fact that you're saying that uh, at the island that it got reduced to a land of the Fae, despite the fact that how gorgeous it looks. That's horrifying, but then again, the Fae are horrifying, so I mean... Those of you without sin, take your leave now, for here you will find the Queen's bottomless castle. I mean, the, the, the Queen has a room in Caldea, which looks like a castle, so I mean... You know, I, I, I literally have the keys to go there. They accumulate like rain or ash. They disappear like snow or lies. Our hopes are either upon the shelf or yet in the queen's hands. But we need only hold out a little longer. On the dawn of the 2000th year, the prophesied child will appear. The child who will bring we fae folk and humans together. The child who will save the world. Who's the child? Though it may be too small for any other to see, the child shall be drawn to the light here like as a moth to a flame. Land the Fae, so, um, uh, basically, oh my, oh my god. <laughs> That's telling. That is very telling. Once the child has averted catastrophe in the Sea of Iron and Sea of Soot, their pilgrimage shall truly begin. Wow, the child has a lot of work to do. Chosen by the staff of selection, the savior, guarded by travelers from afar, shall reach the throne. Oh, so it's Castoria! Castoria is the, is the child of selection. Yay! The throne shall be claimed by a true king. Take up the bloodied crown. Let the six bells ring out like raging lightning, like grieving flame. Let them rig out and forge a path for the true king. Let them rig out before the red calamity reaches us, before the black disaster devours us living. I hate that. Though we may not be the most diligent of folk, we are yet the free descendants of the Fae. Lacking though our wishes be, all we desire is a brighter tomorrow. You and your cryptic talk. So what do you think? It takes its sweet time making its point, but you get it, yes? That's just how it is with prophecies. They don't make sense when we first hear them, but once events unfold, you see exactly what they meant. Give the Fae, give the Fae smartphones and they'll compete at game Twitter. 
God, the fan would be the complete and total trolls on, on, on the Twitter. Like, the fan would just look to complain about literally anything and everything. Calamities, just your usual pest. Weird. Yeah, every day is just another day for calamities. Like, huh, what is this? Oh, yeah, it's just Calamity Tuesday. In that sense, there are a lot of curses that fix itself upon, uh, up to your back before you knew it was there. Um, like that curse? Is that a curse? Well, looks like the scary lady found me. This is all I could do for now. Was that the scary lady, Morgan? The next time I see you will probably be after everything else is said and done. It is a shame I won't be able to help you fight, but I'm hugely relieved I won't have to fear for my life. You're literally the Tower of Avalon. I think you're probably in the safest place. Until, right, right, all right then. I'll be waiting for you in the confined lands. Until next time. Bye, Merlin! Actual Merlin! Don't mind me, uh, me being a local master with so many war crimes that I got used to it, right? <laughs> we are the we are the ultimate war crime. Was that a trick? No. Yes, it was, but unfortunately it was real. Hey, Val! I was just pissed, because, like, I sent Merlin. Oh, Sion! Uh, testing, testing. Good morning, everybody. This is Sion. The time is now 7 a.m. I am very sorry to disturb you all during your precious, quiet, early morning hours. But I have an urgent message to relay for, to all Novum Chaldea Massaf. There has been a change in the sixth loss belt. The emergency situation we predicted is now in progress. Please remain calm and come to the command room as soon as you're able. Okay? Oh crap! Come on, Fall! Let's go! Oh. Thou. But. Thou? You seem very quiet about this. If you're worried, then I'm concerned. Merlin, don't mind me turning your dreams into a wet. <laughs> he fucking would, wouldn't he? Mash Curia Light, reporting for duty. What's going on here, Master? <sighs> don't bother asking Key and Curia Light. He and I both just got here ourselves, so we know as little as you. I don't even see my technical advisor, or the captain anywhere. The only other ones here are that unflappable alchemist end. Good morning, my distinguished colleagues. Hey, it's Holmes, my boy. I see by your healthy complexions that you all slept marvelously last night. Wonderful. Yeah, we're ready all the sleep we can get. I'd say this fulfills our, the first condition. Would you, would you, Miss Sion? Yes, I think so. It is very lucky that you are all he, all in such good health right now. Let's us see. We have Kian and Mash, the Debbie Servant, the Field Ops Team. Um, uh, God, I can never pronounce his name pro pronouncedly. The Pilot, Toblin and Ka uh, Kawada, the Operators. Octavia, Da Vinci's assistant, Chin, the vehicle mechanic, uh, Kyan, good lord, that's what people call me sometimes, I am Pepper, uh, Kyan, the munitions and design engineer, Elrod, the records keeper, Marcus, the spiritron engineer, and Gordoff, who was just enjoying a heaping plate of pancake with a rather generous drizzle of honey. Gordoff, you made pancakes and didn't share? Fucking dare you. Take your goddamn damn pancake. Gordoff would have a heavy German accent. I cannot do a German accent. If you think about it, he also is voiced by a rather interesting character from a series you've definitely heard of. Um, what, what, what series you're talking about? Gordoff could run IHOP by himself. I'm pretty sure he would. And he would be able to do his own advertising too, considering he would drag race his ass around, around town. I see not one of you is so much as batting an eye at the dire situation. Truly, you're all seasoned veterans. I mean, we've literally, we, we, we literally got thrown out of our old, old home, got thrown into uh, two, a, a lost month that had to deal with deities, uh, two deities, a freaking, ha a, a freaking czar, a, a, actually about three deities if you, if you include the one from, from the third lost belt, and then gods. 
Robotic gods to be exact. So many gods you can bat an eye. I think we're fine. There's nothing that you can do that would surprise us anymore, Sihan. Jojo, German science is the best in the world. I hate that. I, I hate that. This will make it so much easier to tell you what's going on. Ofa, I really don't like where this is going. You come on, you, but come on, let's hear it. What is going on already? Does it have something to do with that searing light flashing more godly than I've ever seen it flash before? It literally is flashing the exact same amount. What are you talking about? Is there a fire in the kitchen now or something? You're just in the kitchen! You ain't down to the fire. Oh no, nothing like that. It's only a tiny planetary crisis that will eradicate us all in about 24 hours. If we don't stop, if we don't, do not stop it. Eradication? Well, that's much bigger a deal than I was expecting. Wait, what are you saying, you Egyptian knee sock wearer? <laughs> hmm, it seems very rude for, to me to boil people down to their nationality, appearance, and or a choice of apparel. I agree with that, but please, let's not get sidetracked right now, especially when we only have 24 hours. Clock ticket, let's go. Come on. Director Gerdoff, Master, and all the other staff members are still grappling with the news. What exactly do you mean by planetary crisis? Losing, losing, and then using a save scum weapon. <laughs> Can we do that for this game? Can we do that for this game? We, were, we don't actually have 24 hours, right? We more have as long as it takes. Wait, does that mean that the entire episode of Lost Belt 6 is done in literally, like all three parts are done in a day? That's a lot if, it, if that all happened in a day. I am sorry, you're right. We do not have a lot of time to spare, so I will be as forthright as I can. As you know, it has been about three weeks since the shocking operation to eliminate Limbo. Oh, okay, interesting, that's cool. In that time, Nova, Nova Caldea has been tuning up the Storm Boater and devising plans on, of attack for the remaining 6th and 7th Lost Belt. That lost, that last Lost Belt though. That said, as I have been told you before, I saw no need to infiltrate Britain, the site of the 6th Lost Belt. So I have been focused my efforts on the 7th Lost Belt, where the foreign god is hiding out. Y yes, I remember. You said we could leave the 6th Lost Belt to its own devices because... Go on, kid, tell her. Because Britain didn't have a tree of emptiness anymore. Right, because Morgan did something to that. Because Britain is seriously dangerous. <laughs> Indeed, the tree of emptiness that has established the Britain lost but was used to burn down the tree of emptiness in, in, in Olympus. As further proof, we have not observed any magical energy readings associated with the tree of emptiness coming from Britain since then. You sure it wasn't just a giant rogue minion? As such, the Britain Lost Belt should disappear on its own, much like the Chinese one did, or so we thought. Right, the Britain Lost Belt may still be shrouded in the Wall of Light, but it's no longer a threat to humanity. Um, if I, uh, let's see, I'm not saying anything about Lost Belt 6. If I did, I have to slap you for foring yourself when, when you want to enjoy it slowly. Britain is seriously dangerous, so Lost Belt Britain is just Australia in the sky. <laughs> yes, but instead of just gi everything just gigantic, it's just Faye. <laughs> Which I imagine would necessarily be worse. <laughs> Especially for a wee little mage like myself. I do not want to be eaten, please. Please, don't want any part of the Faye. The Faye are scary. At least, that's what was our understanding. Is that not the case? No, it is. We were still keeping it under observation, but we did not consider it a threat. Not until this very moment, anyway. Convenient! Hello? This is the Paper Moon Planetary Observation Grid, and these are Sheba predictions. Hey, this is the one we saw from the from the game. Um, and then, of course, the other, the other Lost Belt. That's interesting that the sixth Lost Belt... That the seventh Lost Belt is just like gigantic right now in comparison. But then you have the little itty bitty Lost Belt over there for Britain. And I'm like, ah, I'm sure that's fine. Now it's not. Even your toilet won't be safe. Nothing will be safe in Lost Belts in Avalon Lafay. 
According to this, the Britain Lost Belt will vanish in about 24 hours, and when it does, it will engulf the rest of the planet in a, like an enormous uh, tsunami. Earth will then crumble under the weight of its own gravity, utterly annihilating the planet. Really? We're not talking about one of the foreign gods' pseudo-black holes. This would well and truly be the end of Earth. This will currently overwrite... Oh, hold on a second. Uh, bah, 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 log. This will currently overwrite humanity's current bad ending, the Bleach Earth phenomenon, with a completely dead end. So everything's just gonna go, go gone. Just gone. But why is this happening? That we don't know. But now that we know what will happen if left unchecked, we can ill afford to simply sit back and twiddle our thumbs. Da Vinci and Captain Nemo are on the store border as we speak, getting ready to getting it ready to launch. Up until now, we have been using the Shadow Border to infiltrate the Lost Belt via Void Space. But this is sudden development has left us without the time we need to prepare. Fortunately, we now have the Storm Border, which is capable of directly breaching the walls surrounding the Lost Belt. Yay! Love the Storm Border. As a battleship, the Storm Border is essentially our frontline base. While we still be conducting on-site investigations in the Shadow Border, having the base where we can always resupply will be a tremendous asset. Thank goodness. We, we need all the help we can get. Furthermore, um, Tris Me Megitus, yeah, Tris Megitus, Two, categorize this phenomenon as a collapse. But one could also call it a trap, or perhaps a pitfall. A pitfall? Then, do you think the Britain, uh, Britain is going to cave in on itself, or sink underwater? I mean, in a metaphorical sense, yes. I'm afraid I can offer no definite answer until we get there. Regardless, I suspect that not even the foreign god herself foresaw this turn of events. Yeah, because of certain two certain a certain servant and another and, it, and their master lost her absolute fucking shit. It's all well and good that Britain will disappear. Indeed, it's only to be expected now that the tree its tree of emptiness is in, uh, effectively dead. Which is kind of interesting considering I figured that the, with the tree of emptiness gone, I figured that the Lost Belt Six would be just gone instantly, like like the other Lost Belts are. But if, we dis but if that disappearance is going to engulf the entire planet, then it is a matter we must investigate and ultimately resolve. After all, there would be no feasible way to restore the Earth to its pre-bleach state if there is no Earth left to restore. Okay, what's with you there? I'm with you there, but what the hell can we do in only 24 hours? A lot, as a matter of fact. You see, that 24-hour period is in our time frame. But according to Shiba, time moves very differently within the Lost Belt. Oh, that's why. On what's inside the Britain Lost Belt, our time constraints will cease to be a concern. So as long as you can resolve the phenomena while you're there, we should be all set. Okay, so essentially time effectively stops. Effectively. That said, time is definitely not on our still definitely not on our side. Which is why we are going to have all Kodian staff board the store border. Oh, so it's had all hands on deck on this one. And head for Britain as soon as we finish our final safety checks. Then, once you arrive at the its wall of light, you will use the store border's dimensional piercing drill to breach it. And make your way into Britain, the sixth lost belt. That's all I have to say. And as luck was a habit, the Shadow Warrior has arrived has just arrived at, at the dock. I know this mission is being sprung on you very suddenly, but Da Vinci will fill you in on the details aboard the storm border. Yay! Da Vinci! Be careful out there, everyone. I cannot wait to hear what sort of fun hijinks you will get you're up to this time. Sian? Sian? If, if you only knew what we knew? <laughs> if you only knew what we knew! <laughs> oh, not even our toilets are safe indeed. Huh? Aren't you coming too? Wait, see, I get your butt in that shadow border. I will throw you in. <laughs> Sorry, you are right. I did say the entire staff. My bad. I did not phrase that as intended. I thought it would be too much, too, too. Um, it would be much too presumptuous to count a newcomer like myself as a member of the Caldea staff. You are definitely a member. Stop that. Please don't worry about me. I'm just going to stay here and continue the, to monitor the seventh lost belt. Do your best out there, Kian. I promise I will do the same here. So you're not joining us, Sion? Oh, that's unfortunate. I was hoping that we'd join us for a rip-robin adventure for once. 
That said, if you all should bow, uh, blow this one, both I and this base will cease to exist in about 24 hours. So I am counting on you more than ever. But I am not worried at all. I know you'll you'll succeed. Thanks, Sion. We hang in there too, I guess. Yay! That smile of hers is freaking adorable. Mm. Rolling around at the speed of sound! <laughs> Ooh, so good. Demos! Demos! Attention all crew members! I repeat, attention all crew members! We have arrived at this water near, um, the waters near the British Lost Belt, two hours after departing the Wandering Sea, just as we expected. We're currently 200 kilometers north of the Isles of Britain. The wall of light looks to be a dimensional rift, just like the world's end from the Sixth Singularity. Oh. Thanks to Da Vinci and, Professor and, the, and Professor's Analyst, we've learned that the rift is, is its thinnest on the southern side. So that is where we'll be heading, and we'll begin the dimensional boarding as soon as we arrive. Yay! We're coming in! We're going in deep! Um, we expected to begin the operation in 45 minutes. All hands remain at your post until further notice. Can I have pancakes? Can I have pancakes while we're waiting? I love how it looks inside here. There you have there you have it. We're going to begin the operation as soon as possible, without any breaks. Go, go, go! The Shadow Border is a big ship after all, so we can just slip in so we can't just slip in the void space like the Shadow Border. But what it can do is use its massive propulsive force and magical energy barriers to withstand the dimensional friction that separates different worlds. Basically, it's a giant drill. That's the sound of a giant drill. What are we going to do is fire the storm border through that wall of light like a... I literally was about to say it. Like, like a bullet, right? <laughs> like a rocket. The entry impact will be just as strong as if it... Uh, blah, 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 blah. The entry impact will be just as strong as it is for a zero sale. So make sure you're all in a calm state of mind. Yes. Everybody be whelmed. Be whelmed. Like, wait, wait, master. Like, Shabazz was like, master, I think you should calm down. I'm the fucking calm. <laughs> if you're confused, distraught, or terrified, then your soul might not be able to keep up with your body. Oh, God, we'll become a freaking zombie. Yes, I'm well aware. Oh, hold on. Whoopsie. Yes, I'm well aware. You mean that weird sensation where it feels like your chest and head are being stressed out like traffic, right? No need. I no need to worry about us, Captain. This isn't our first rodeo. It's our sixth. More importantly, um, we do have a firm place of action in place, yes. Because I don't even want to think about entering a lost belt without a strategy or a goal. Of course we do. Don't worry, Gordy. We know exactly what it is we have to do. I wish you good luck on part two and three when they come out. I am terrified of part two and three. Part three specifically for reasons. Lots of reasons. It'll be fun! Probably. After all, we were always planning on going after the, the British Lost Belt at some point. Also, think about, um, think about this... Um, Kian, imagine having food from Gordos Bakery. It could tame enemies. Oh my god. Can I have? Can I have foods? I would like food. Actually, I'm actually kind of hungry right now, so I'm hoping at some point after an after stream I get some food in me. But we're gonna go for a little, we're gonna go for at least an hour from now. Um, just to kind of make up a little bit for lost time. I want to get in deep. So, but afterwards, yeah, I'm get, definitely getting food. Thank gotcha hell for myself. Personal gotcha help. Something like that. Really? You were? But I thought the British Lost Boat was no longer a threat. At least up until today. Right you are. But nonetheless, we were indeed making plans to explore it, it well before now. While we only have a few bits and pieces of information to work with at the moment, we do know that Barrel Gut remains in the British Lost Boat. And that fucker is a maniac. And that its king was able to launch an attack on Olympus, Olympus, uh, uh, Olympus's tree of emptiness. <laughs> I'm so wild. What more? This king was able to burn, was even able to burn the very tree of emptiness required to sustain their lost belt. While it's still unclear whether Beryl tricked them into doing so, or if they acted with informed consent, 
What matters is that they possess enough power to burn a tree of emptiness single-handedly. And then there's... Rogue Obedient, right? Yep! Yep! A hugely powerful spell akin to Divine Punishment that was able to reach Olympus all the way from Britain. The part that still gets me is that Rogue Obedient, what, it being a Divine Concept, a, a weapon and things, is essentially used by multiple servants as a noble phantasm. Shh, shh, Morgan just uses it as a regular attack animation. Like, the fuck! She is insane! That's my queen. A mystic, a mystic that surpasses even Kistaria's ideal magecraft. That was Rogue Obedient, all right. It's a spell derived not by human hands, but by the inner sea of the planet itself. It would be a powerful weapon against the foreign god, which means it's something we desperately need. The planet's inner sea? What is that? Oh, that? It's basically a paradise of legend, Avalon. Every uh, mythology's got some kind of promised eternal holy land, right? Yep, Avalon. Utopia, the Garden of Eden, the land of Young Tyr, of Young Tyr the Dog? I don't know how to pronounce that. And so on. Well, Brit Britain's is called Avalon. It's supposed to be an otherworldly paradise that can't be reached by ordinary means, which is exactly where we're going. It's also said to lie inside the planet, and that is where the souls of the stars go to sleep. Pretty much every clock tower mage has heard about it. I know it's called a, it's le a legend, but that's not how people who can actually see it think of it. There are some people out there who really might be able to get to the planet's inner sea. Hell, the clock tower's even got an apartment for exploring it. Can we get a game where we explore the clock tower? I feel like we need that for the Fate series. That said, we're talking about a place that's completely outside of human comprehension. I mean, I know we do have it from the um, from the Waver series with Grey, but still, it'd be amazing if we ha if we could like, have a game where we could explore. Once you get mixed up with something like that, you're practically already lost to a world inside of our own, or outside of our own. <laughs> what are you saying, uh, Manu, uh, Manu, yeah, Manu Paza? What the heck? Are you talking about the underground workshop? They're just an ordinary archaeological team with a fancy name. Really, how could anyone take them seriously after they proudly proclaimed that they found the Earth's belly button underneath the clock tower? Yeah, we see way too little of it. I agree. Like I said, the Wafer series is probably the closest that we get. The Case Files is the closest that we get to Clock Tower stuff outside of other lore. It would just be cool if we could spend more time there. J -j 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 like, like, let, like, let, let us be a master who ends up at a Holy Grail War at the Clock Tower. That'd be great. I may be something of a mage, of a magecraft elitist, but even I would be too embarrassed to say something like that and with a straight face. Ahem. If we're quite done with our digressions about the Mage Association and the Clock Tower's inner politics, let us return to the subject at hand, shall we? Now then, now that we know the King of the Lost World, of, of the British Lost World, controls Rogo Midian, we need to investigate it and learn how it works. Indeed, the Rogo Midian is the very reason why we were already making plans to explore the British Lost Belt. Basically, they have a giant railgun. While the circumstances have forced us to act sooner than we had hoped, we are always going to pay them a visit eventually. So then, Master's mission this time isn't just to investigate the Lost Belt? While we do, of course, also need to prevent the collapse of Tribajustice uh, Tri 2 warned us about, securing Rogue Obedian is our top priority. As such, our ultimate goal for this Lost Belt is to negotiate with its king for it. Good luck about that! You mean, you want us to cut a deal with the Lost Belt king? So we're capable of essentially firing intercontinental ballistic missiles at will? Right? <laughs> yep. Honestly, I think it's pretty reckless, even for us. I'd love to get out my hands on Rogue Obedient, too. But between the Storm Border and the Hero the Heroic Spirit System and the Black Barrel, I think we should be able to neutralize the so-called present I mean planetary level threat like the foreign god if the circumstances is called for it. Sion was adamant that we need a divine contract, though, so here we are. Well, Miss Sion is an Atlas alchemist. I have no doubt she has something unique in mind. Wonder what that is? Probably find out Lost Belt 7. 
And let's not forget that we wouldn't have the Nautilus or Shadow Border if it weren't for her. So I, for one, am willing to go along with this plan of hers. But that's going to get us all killed and we're going to be traumatized forever. Especially if it leads us to acquiring Rongomidia or something equivalent. Oh, for... Don't you think you're being just a little overly optimistic here, Holmes? That's your job. This could be the biggest burden we've asked Key and the Bear so far, you know. There's definitely a lot I have to do. This mission does seem a little... I mean, this, this definitely has a lot to do. This, 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 yeah. Thanks. You'll have to continue this conversation later. We're almost reached the drilling point. All hands, return to your post. Brace for time space continuing. Uh, time, time space continuing. Brace for time sp uh, space time crossing impact. Oh, right. Sorry, Captain. Let's get going. Everybody, to your stations. The the is uh, wait. No, wrong series. Never mind. <laughs> oh crap! The world's right in front of us. Sorry for not paying closer attention, Captain. All right, I understand. I don't. I still don't like it. But at least I get the point of this mission now. Remember, Kian, this won't be like any of the other lost belts we've faced so far. I know. Trust me. You're going to be here for a long time. Negotiation will require a careful, thoughtful approach. So try to keep your reckless risk-taking to no more than 30% of your usual antics. 31 about 31 percent. Good grief. It seemed Goldolf beat me to the punch. As important as this mission may be, it is it should be with within our ability to acquire this weapon. Fortunately, we have both knowledge and time on our side. You sure about that? Regardless of what sort of person we may be dealing with, as long as we take things one step at a time, we're sure to arrive at the truth eventually. You keep saying that we're gonna be fucked. Kid is strapped in and ready. It me. Here we go. Good. Professor, start the final safety checks. Store border. Initiate zero coding. Trident engine one, two, three are all green. Space and time difference, a difference correction between store border and the drilling target has been calculated. Da Vinci will protect the ship's armor from the computer room while the Nemo series focuses on maintaining our route. The computer room just gave us all the all here, Captain. We're looking at a 99.9% chance of success. God damn it. Dimension piercing battleship sword border, move out! Prepare to enter the sixth lost belt! <sighs> Here we go, ladies and gents. Lost belt six. Fay Round Table Domain. Avalon Le Fay. The moment of planet is bored. I like having the artwork for my collection. Yay. Hee hee hee. Are we here? And we're here! This is awfully quiet. Too quiet. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, no battles. Okay. All right, let's see what happened. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Oh, please. Gotta take care of this. Got freaking ruined the goddamn moment. The joys of rolling in the gotcha to take care of the things and stuff. Ah! Hate it. 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 Ah, I don't think we need to make any of those. Still hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Absolutely hate it. Hate everything about it. Ah, oh, that was anticlimactic as fuck. Well, you got anything else for me that I need to worry about now? I feel like I need to, like, get myself more room here. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, right. Filters. Got it. There we go. Now we can add more. Alright, we'll do all these. And more of those. Just gonna get rid of all, like, the lower, the super lower star ones. And... Okay. Okay, so everything what you're telling me is... Oh my god. I have so many four fucking five stars. Christ. Alright. Most of these I already have at like max level, so that shouldn't really matter. Oh my lord. Why are there so many of these? This hurts me eternally. There's 
Make it stop. Okay, we're almost done. All right, we're good. Dead. Thank you for restocking all of that. All right, try again. Now nah, we're fine. <laughs> the battles. Let's go. Oh. This is new. Huh. They really pull up all stops for this one. Oh. Oh, God. I hate that. I hate that. I know exactly what that is. And I hate it. I hate it. I know I have to have to deal with you until Lost Mouth 3, but I hate it. The fairies cherished freedom. The fairies guarded their love. In recompense, the children lost their world. Love this song. Though it is destroyed over and again and again, your Britain will never will ever prosper. Spring sum surprise, summer's quarrels, autumn's joy, and winter's battles. Death piled upon death to stand eternal. Ooh, cryptic. Be wary and never forget, no matter how sturdy the walls, a castle's foundation never changes. As the world took new form, the roots aged, and now unseen and unfelt. Wait, is that a dragon at the bottom? Oh dear. The gnawing of the tiniest of insects shall bring all to ruin. Stop saying the word insect! Stop saying the word insect! Bad! Bad! That's not until later! Stop it! <laughs> Hate it! Oh. We were passed the fuck out. Huh? Was I just sleeping? Yes, you were. And I think I lost consciousness for a moment, too. What about all of you? Same here. I, it was all, it was kind of hazy. I'm kind of a dizzy feeling, I guess. Oof. My head's still kind of spacey, too. Ugh. I remember the captain declaring we broke through the wall of light, then. Nothing. On a different note, why is it so dark in here now? Yeah, everywhere it looked like it was freaking light. Captain! I'm here. Thanks. But it's kind of hard to talk right now. You too, Captain Nemo. Then it seems I'm not the only one feeling under the weather at the moment. That's terrible! But why did that happen? Allow me to explain. Okay? Thank you, expo thank you Exposition Da Vinci. <laughs> da Vinci, you're okay? Of course! As you can see, I'm the same chipper Da Vinci as always. <laughs> Dee was having never her shit. It's all cause I, I was synced up to the border in the computer room. While you were all out cold, I took care of things inside the ship and finished analyzing the outside atmosphere. So where should I begin? Probably with why, uh, why you and Nemo aren't feeling your like yourselves, huh? No, that's all right. The fact that you and Miss Curie are like are fine tells me everything I need to know. Think back to the Chinese Lost Belt. The moment we entered the Britain, both Nemo and myself felt deeply under the weather. That must be no heroic spirit can function here, or rather, no heroic spirit extracted from human history. So all fantasy, baby! And that, in turn, tells us that human history simply does not exist here. Am I correct? Wow, that's actually kind of cool, Sansa. I should have known you figured it out fast. I just checked the spirit origin graph I transferred to the border, and it was completely shut down. There's not even a fragment of the base ne of needed for heroic spirits from proper human history to exist here. Wow, so we are coming in here heavily neutered. Got it. That's fucking great. I hate that. The Chinese Lost Belt history has no need for heroic spirits, but I'm guessing heroic spirits simply don't exist in this Lost Belt's history. I mean, at this point, it's literally all fantasy. So we haven't even gotten to the point of human history yet. That's why heroic spirit from proper human history like you guys can't set foot on the Isle of Britain. You basically be attacked by the entire world since you've never existed here in the first place. It's essentially like they're like white blood cells being atta attacking things, or they're being attacked by white blood cells. Mm -hmm. So there's essentially not enough of a foundation for heroic spirits to operate here. Say, say Robin Hood, for example. He should be able to exist in any lost spells, right? He's so vaguely defined that it should only take a single skilled archer existing at some point in history, regardless of what their name might have been, for him to qualify. But now you're saying that even conditions as vague as those don't exist here in the lost, this British Lost Belt? You got that. You got it. 
That was a great example, Gordy. Well, you know, I have reached um, a point in my tenure as director where I actually began to enjoy reading them, of course. I dare say I know even more about the Lost Belts than Kia does now, at least on a pure intellectual level. At any rate, I see now. So this human history, this history never contains so much as a skilled arch single, a uh, single skilled archer, eh? How the hell does that work? These Lost Belts have been around for over 2019 years, yes? Oh, hold on. Yes? So how could they have not much history and not a single historic significant figure? They couldn't. Lost Belts or not, any path human history may take must fit within certain definitions. Any manner of human civilization must ir inevitably pass through a template of particular technological milestones. It's simply not possible for an animal species to propagate itself over oh, over 10,000 years without its culture and average quality of life meeting certain criteria. So like, you know, survival of the fittest and all that. And naturally, over the course of history, people will always branch out into various different occupations. Though their names may differ, they will inevitably be famous famed sword fighters, archers, spear fighters, artisans, soldiers, kings and detectives like you the lack of any such figures even exists here must mean could that mean there's no humans here yeah it makes sense an excellent insight mr keen indeed that would be the simplest explanation but there are still other possibilities left to explore i'll have to do so later hey god then why are the technical the technical advisors and Kira like they're seemingly unaffected in my case, it's probably because I'm a Debbie servant. I do have Galahad's spirit origin, but I'm not actually him, so... Also remember, you're in Britain. This is technically your home by definition of your spirit origin. So I imagine anybody in Br anything that has to do with Britain's lore or Britain's mythology is completely on the table here. Where's our Where's Altoria? Yep, pretty much. As for me, I'm technically a humunculus of, of Leonardo da Vinci, not the original. So that would explain why I'm not affected. That said, I'm even more of a Leonardo. Red, red genius, goddammit. Than the original. So this must have wor actually worked out great. Then the only servants who will be of any help in this lost battle is you and Mosh. Seriously? You mean we can't even summon new ones on site? Since this place rejects any heroic spirits from human history, it seems really unlikely we'll be able to bolster our forces that way. If we want to increase our numbers, our only choice is to ask the people of, the lost, of this Lost Belt for help. And boy, we got a lot of help. But never mind that now. Can you tell us what happened over these last 30 minutes, Da Vinci? Yes, please. How screwed are we? Sure! Right after the store border uh, puts through the wall of light, the whole system went kaput. Kaflunkle, even. Every electronic, electronic device we had on the border shut down, causing the shadow border to crash. Uh-oh. Luckily, Neo's engineers were able to use the last of her strength to get one Triton back up and running. That, in turn, left the shadow border break, uh, sort of breakaway from the island's airspace and to make an emergency landing in the ocean to the south to its southwest. That's where we are now. The generators are still out of commission, so we're running on auxiliary power. So that's why it's so dark here. Not a most suspicious way to start a mission, huh? Yeah, we're in trouble. Yeah, the situation definitely isn't great, but hey, it's not like we haven't been in t tight spots before. Not wrong. In fact, I'd say the fact that we weren't attacked right off the bat and are able to have a leisurely chat like this makes us at least a little lucky. Oh, so we haven't been attacked. Does this mean the King of the Lost Belt still has yet to notice us? Oh, I highly doubt that. I can't say anything for sure yet, but I think so. Especially since we haven't set foot on the aisle yet. Like, literally, the minute we step on the aisle, Morgan just kind of like... Morgan's kind of like taking a nap, just like sitting down and everything. And then the minute you... And then the minute you like step like one peaky toe on the island, her eyes just kind of like wait, like just wide open, real shit, <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> oh my god, I forget how that meme goes. The closer we get to it, the more things on the storyboard stop working. But that the good news is 
they only stopped not broken i'm guessing here but if the storyboard gets far enough away from the aisle i think everything will start working again I can't believe it can't even get close to the mysterious island, so to speak, even with the Nautilus as its base. Still, as much as the situation is making me feel like a failure, I can at least confirm that the store border is definitely intact. So if everything starts working again once we put some distance between ourselves and the aisle, then we'll know, then we'll know we have a secure escape route for all, out of this lost belt. Now we just have to figure out what comes next. Does the shadow border still work, Da Vinci? Unfortunately, no. We still can, we can still we can still use it as a ship to get to shore, but I'm sure it stopped working if we made if it made land, so we can't use the shadow border either. Damn, that sucks. We're gonna be hoping it. Oh, what about comms then? Will those still work on land? Again, I can't say for sure until we try. But given how everything else is behaving, I wouldn't get our hopes up. Oh God, we're gonna be completely exiled off. In the worst case, we'll have to rely on more primitive means of communication. How are you with carrier prisons, Holmes? The most interaction I've had with carrier pigeons was when I once unraveled a trick that relied on them. Of course, I could still use them just fine. Gotcha! Guess that makes me the expert then. Don't worry, I'll handle the written uh, correspondent side of things. Okay. Oh, one more thing. I need to tell you how much time we have to work with. In the current state, we can keep the storm boring powder for about 30 days. So we're going to be here for about a month? If we really stretch ourselves thin, we can make it last for at least 50 days before the auxiliary power runs out. So that's our time limit. So 40 days. So 50 days. Once the mission begins, uh, the mission, once, once the mission complete, we'll move the store border away from Britain and restart the engines. As soon as the Triton engines are back online and generating a stable supply of magical energy, we'll break back through the walls of light and leave the lost belt. And that's about something and that's about something up. Sounds good to you, Director Gordoff? Right then. If the shadow border can't get us near land, then we'll have only one course of action available. Cheer like will accompany Kean as his bodyguard while we he infiltrates the Isle of Britain. Once there, the two of them will carefully investigate the area and find the cause of the future collapse observed at Caldea. I'm sure we don't know who that is. If circumstances allow they will also make contact with this lost belt king and require a rogue obedient. During this operation, we expect that communication with the shadow border will be limited at best. Therefore, I'm empowering the two of them to make their own calls in the field, with the exception that they re will return safe, sound, and successful within 40, no, 45 days. Huh? You're just sending Kian and Bosch? Is there no way they can, there, there's no way they can pull this off alone. We have done worse, probably. At least send me or Chin along with them. Oh, um, not that I'm eager to get myself killed out there, because I'm definitely not, but come on! Don't be daft, you fool. You're going along with me. Kira Light needs to worry about keeping two people safe instead of only one. She may be an excellent servant, but she is still only one person. So if we only have one servant to work with, I'm going to make damn sure she supports Keen to the best of her ability. Makes the most sense. You got this, Bosh. Oh, Uncle Goff. Uncle Goff! Don't call me Uncle. I'm still in my 20s, damn it. I keep forgetting that. He definitely seems like he's either in his late 30s, early 40s, but he's actually in his 20s, in like his late 20s. What the hell? Is that clear, you two? Go on then. Repeat the, your mission objective to me. Yes, sir. My miss job is to assist Keep Master as he investigates this lost belt in any way, in whatever way I can. Don't worry, Masha and I will give everything we got and totally not sip over certain people. Very good. Then let's get this mission underway. We only have 45 days to work with after all. Britain is a big place. If I were you, I'd start making, uh, start by making my way to, for Oxford then. Oh, uh, what are you doing? What are you doing, Da Vinci? What are you doing over there, technical advisor? Is there a reason for your packing various items into a rucksack? Are you going with us? You need to ask? I'm going with them, obviously. Didn't I say it would handle the written correspondence? I mean, you did. So keep an eye out for my familiars, because they that's how the, I'll be sending you letters from the field. Yay! What? <laughs> Everybody's like, say what? <laughs> Yay! 
Bing! Boss of Da Vinci! Let's go! Oh. Mist Coast. Oh dear. Um. Uh, I see. So. Oh, it's one of these cases. Um. Uh, oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Hold on a second. I want to get something very particular set up. I want to get something very particular set up before we go in. Before we go in, where are you? I have the beads now. Come on, Merlin. I gotta get you maxed out too. As I said I would. Because, my friend, you are coming with me on this Lost Belt journey! Let's go, baby! <laughs> Alright. Let's go. May or may not be using the Invincible Cop. <laughs> when, when applicable. Ugh, I'll admit, that does make sense. Alright, you have my permission to go with them to Technical Advisor. Okay, I can at least take you to shore. Take care of them for us, Da Vinci. Was that in the past? <gasps> hey, we're on the island! And here we are! The island breaking at last! Woo! It's so foggy out here. And it's so warm, too. Alright, settle down. You've already taken out five Lost Belts, so another strange land shouldn't be anything new to you. But it looks so cool, though! I like the mist! Well, oh, oh, okay. Well it, it, well, it is. As a matter of fact, since this is my first time out on an adventure like this, you can't blame me for being excited. Honestly, funny enough, I'm not surprised DaVinci is actually following us this time around. Because this is literally the exact same setup for when we did Camelot. The, the Camelot Singularity, right? Yeah, because DaVinci followed us there too. So I guess they're kind of following tit for tat in this particular case. Which I like the, the parallels for that, even though it's technically speaking we're going to this a, a different version of the same area. Which I think is kind of cool. Now, go on, Captain. Head back to the storm border already. You're having a hard time out and time as it is out here, right? It's our job to investigate this area, so you can just sit around and grit your teeth until it returns. It uh, it's your turn. Fine. I guess I don't have to worry if you're in such a good spirits anyway. Kian, Bosh, don't forget to take care of Da Vinci while you're out there on your missions. It wasn't much, but I got a brief glimpse of the place back in the command room right before we lost consciousness. Everything east of the shore is shrouded in fog, and I did make out what looks like a city approximately 200 kilometers from here. Yay! Assuming nothing gets in your way, you three should be able to get there in about two or three days. So that's where I'd start if I were you. I hate to ask you to trudge through the fog, but I don't see any way of going around it even if we had the time to spare. Don't worry, we'll be careful. We know what we're doing. Hey, there's a reason we managed to make it this far. Not wrong. Not wrong. I guess that's true, isn't it? Okay, Kian, Bosch, Da Vinci, good luck out there. Thank you, thank you, Nemo. I can't wait to hear back from you with good news. Bye. Have fun. I've checked, I've finished checking our equipment, Master. Our survival kits are all set, and we have 90 days worth of rations. Oh my god. We're, 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 if things are wrong, I think we'll be screwed long before then. Oh, hello? What was that? Great. You two can keep the food to for yourself. I don't get hungry as long as I have man enough mana. Say, where's Fowl? I don't see him with you either. Yeah, we haven't seen Fowl since he, like, mysteriously disappeared. Well, Val actually never got on the store border with us this time, so I don't know why, but he basically bolted and hid from us. Is that because of Merlin or something else I have to deal with the Fae? He doesn't want to be here. Aw, really? That's too bad. He was, al he was always there on your journey to restore humanity, right? Man, I was looking forward to having the same experience as my grown-up self, too. Maybe Val just doesn't like Britain or something? Oh well, nothing we can do about it now. Besides, I'm sure we'll have other chances to travel together. Yay! Absolutely! I'd love to go on an adventure with you, Holmes, Director, Gordoff, Sion, um, and Mejudaire. Oh god, I cannot pronounce Fred. Thou and Senpai all together. That'd be kind of cool. Alright then, let's get going! 
to Lost Belt 6 and beyond! Wait, we're already here, never mind. Just to the city and beyond! You said it! Next stop, a city about 200 kilometers to the east! Buckle up, guys! We, because we've got a long run ahead of us! Indeed we do. I can Tristan! <laughs> the hell are you doing here? I can sense it as well. What? <laughs> what? What the fuck are you doing here, Tristan? I can't believe it. Of all the luck. My first adventure ever, I'm already hallucinating. <laughs> that you and Master are seeing his tooth, Da Vinci? I thought I was all so on end that my eyes were playing tricks on me. That's definitely Tristan, all right. Not gonna lie, I kind of hope I get um, um, Tristan at some point in time. Why are you all acting it's like it's so strange for me to be here? This is making me very sad. I mean, I will admit this, that this is certainly wasn't the most dramatic summoning. If anything, it felt as casual and automatic as weather clock, a weathercock turning in response to the wind. Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. Have to report to make. My round shit is pulsing with the same warmth it typically has after conducting a summon. So wait. Did Mosh hit a button and then just Tristan popped out? Now that I think about it, there was a familiar light surrounding Mass not too long. Yeah, that's, that's what that light was. Okay, I thought that was her just hiding the pack. Whoa, really? So I'm not her losing it after all? Oh, wow, you're right. His, his spirit origin is solid. That it really is Sir Tristan, but how? I thought this place rejected it all human, uh, heroic spirits from proper human, uh, human history. Hmm, I see. It sounds as though you're not upset with me, but rather that my summoning itself came as a surprise. Well, I can assure you all I didn't answer the summon of my own volition. One moment I wasn't here, the next I was. Of course, I am a heroic spirit of humanity's side, and I know and know about you and Chaldea. Yay! But aside from that, I have no clue what to what's going on e either. Could somebody please explain it to me? Yeah, sure. We got a lot of words to talk about. And that's the whole son. And that's the whole story of many. Now I see. So this is the Lost Belt, a hypothetical version of Britain that could normally never exist. I don't know why this Lost Belt allowed me to be here any more than you do. I'm so happy that Tristan's here. I didn't. I knew. That I had a feeling that Tristan would be, or I knew that Tristan would be here, but I didn't know when we would meet him. The fact that he's here in the very beginning is awesome. Yay, more time with, with more time with this ep with the epic bowman. But I suspect it has something to do with this being the Cornwall Shore. I do have close ties to this land, after all. I mean, yeah, this is your home. And while its history may be different, the land itself is still the same, I think. Oh, that's right! I forgot that Sir Tristan is said to have been born in Cornwall, in southwest Britain. That must be why we were able to summon you, or maybe the land itself needed your aid? It could also be that Kia was nervous about exploring a mysterious new land. So he ended up summoning Sir Tristan here unconsciously. Either way, having him here with us should be a big help. And its bodies and it bodes well for the future, too. That means we'll probably be able to summon more. It has to do with Camelot. Even if this Lost Belt is devoid of heroic spirit. Oh, so, no, 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 hold on. Even if this Lost Belt is devoid of human, of human heroes, we now know that it's still possible to summon heroic spirits from proper human history with strong ties to a given area. Yeah. Maybe we'll also be able to summon Sir Gawain of Orkney, or even Camelot's own King Arthur. That'd be kind of dope. You wish to summon King Arthur here directly? I'm not so sure that... No, you're right. That would be wonderful. And knowing him, I'm certain he would be willing to be able to help you. God, I wish. In the meantime, I will, of course, be happy to offer whatever meager assistance I can. Any night of the round table would do the same. Master Kian. Yay! I know that neither of us meant for this summoning to happen, but rest assured that my bewitched bow is yours to command regardless. I want to know Tristan's lore. I don't know anything about his fate version of him. I, from here on, from here on, I, Tristan, child of sadness, shall be your faithful servant. Yay! Just don't hit on anybody just yet. Now then, allow me to lead the way. I know this area, southwest, uh, the southwest corner of Britain, like the back of my hand. 
There is a hilly area just past a few mountains, not far too far from here. Will a little with a little luck, we should be able to reach the high road in about two hours. Shall we, Master? Yes, please. The only county you so trusted. Much appreciated. Let's go to whatever horrible thing is gonna try to kill us later. One hour late then. How bad is it? How bad is it, Tristan? Da Vinci? How bad is it? Are we screwed? Um, so Tristan, I'm very sorry to say this, but I'm pretty sure we're lost. <laughs> we are not lost! <laughs> Does anybody know if Tristan is is known for not having a, a, a good sense of direction, please? Because I need to know this now for reasons. Now, I don't blame you for feeling like we are since you all relied on your eyes so much. I, oh, I That's the first time I've ever seen his eyes open. Interesting. But I can assure you, we are indeed making progress. In fact, we've covered no less than four kilometers by now. The only downside is that we somehow haven't been able to escape the shore yet. If Sir Buenavir was here now, he'd happily say, Don't worry about it, Tristan. You just go to sleep. I'll lead the way from here. Then we are lost! I knew it! I doubt... I, also, I doubt Buenavir would have be any happier about this than we are. Yes, I suppose you're right about that. Ah, this makes me so sad. If Sir Buenavir would only be straight with me, I would be happy to play him an encouraging song. I have a feeling that this that that only make Betty mad. Either way, this isn't looking good. <laughs> I'm sure there's something not right here. Yep. Yes, that's true. Perhaps this fog is to blame. This definitely has Morgan written all over it. I know she can make mist. I've been laying down bowstrings wherever we go to ensure we don't get turned around. But at some point, the string trails keeps uh, keeps going cold, and it's, and not because somebody's been cutting it. It's because I've been letting go of them myself. It's almost like I keep forgetting what I meant to do with it just a minute ago. Oh god, this is like the, isn't this like the Nameless Forest? Oh god. Master, I'm detecting high density magical energy signal up ahead. I can't tell you, you any more than that without analysts from the border, but... Oh god! What was that? They're attacking us! Get ready to engage, Kian! Be on your guard! Alright, first battle of the Lost Belt! First battle! Oh, Master starting member. Oh, we can't summon anybody else! Up to four servants from your party can be selected for this quest. Um, who else can we pull? We have access to everybody. Alright then, um... Then what I want... Is there anybody surprised that we're going for Morgan here? Let's see. Can we? Oh, we can. We can. All right, let's get Mosh in here. Mosh, where are you hiding? Mosh, there you are. Hi, Mosh. Thank you. Um, is there anybody else that we can pull from? I'm definitely bringing in Merlin. He 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 Honestly, I think we'll start off with this. Oh no, you know what? Let's get a certain berserker in here as well, just in case. And get him all situated up. Where are you? There you go. And then we'll give you your CE. And then we will give you a CE as well. I think we'll do... I need one for crits. I need one for crits. Honestly, if I didn't have Mash, Mosh, I would totally use this to put... Um, to put this on... Um, I would totally use this to put this on... Uh, what's her face? Um, like, I, I would totally replace Mosh with Castoria right now. So I get my invincible cop going. All right, what, which, which, which one would I want to use here? What, what, what are we, what are we doing? What are we doing with my life and my choices here? Um, you know what? Eh, we need. Where's it? Where's, where's my trademark? Well, not so much trademark as it is, just 
There you go. Victor of the Moon. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. All right, what are we fighting? What what are we what what are we dealing with? Um. Um. Question. Why do they have two bars? What? Why do they have two bars? Um. Okay. I hate that. I hate that a lot. You guys are starting off strong! Good lord! Well, it's fine because we have we have we have Morgan here, so. Alright. And now let us see. I don't think we need to use her other ability right this very second. But I think what I will do. I wanna see her animation. Let's use this as a Morgan test run. Alright, Morgan, go ham! Ooh, baby, let's go! Oh, yes! Oh, the wave! I love how that looks! Welcome, me, let's go! Beautiful. Hey, broken one. Oh, wait. That broke all of them. Oh, so are you all connected? Attack up and MP strength up. Oh, dear. Okay, not liking this. Please tell me that your turn's done. Please tell me that your turn's done. Please tell me that your turn's done. Hate that. Strange gaze. Oh, curse. Great. Are you done? Again? No! Oh, get, get off of Morgan! Get the curse off of Morgan. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Alright, let's do here creation. Um, let's do illusion. And then I will also do her final skill. Oh, oh, she is gonna, oh my god, you guys are dead. I feel really bad for you. All right, let's do this. Yes, roll the table out, let's go. Let's go, Morgan. Go, 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 do it. Do the thing, do the thing. Uh, oh, it's gorgeous! <laughs> yeah! Oh my god! Wait, what? The crits! The crits! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, those crits were sexy. Those crits were sexy. Oh my god. Okay. Uh-oh. Wait, we did use illusion. Never mind. We're fine. We're fine. We used illusion after this. I'm so glad I did because I think we're going to be dead after that. We're clinging. Oh my god. What is that? Hate that. Stop that that thing you're doing right now, stop it! I hate that. I hate that. Stop. 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 Mmm. Hey! Okay, we're all good. Um battle speed, so let us do. Go for it. Bug bug. Bug bug. Bump, bump. Yay! Oh, you guys are getting weaker. Uh oh. Stop it! Leave Morgan alone! Leave Morgan alone! God damn it! 
You are not allowed to do that. Also, I'm putting a shield up. Let's do... Oh! Perfect! Go for it! Go for it! Go for it! Go for it! We'll get some shields up. We'll also get Merlin's... Uh, Merlin's MP up so we can get more heals. And we should be good. Come on, come on, come on. Got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. Yee! And crit. Oh my god, her crits. I love her crits. I love her crits so much. A. Oh, fuck you too. Oh, we don't have enough for work. God damn it. That's fine. Um, let's do... This. Come on. Come on. Fuck. Almost, almost, almost. Oh my god. Why do we have so many curses? Stop it. Oh. Oh, oh now you're fucked. Now you're fucked. Now it's over. It's done. Oh, I forgot she gives herself like a little cauldron. Attack boost up. One more time. Let's do... There we go. Alright, roll with Camelot. Let's go. One more time. One more time. One more time. Oh my god. It's, oh my god. I love this so much. Boom. Good lord. She does so much damage. Got one. Alright. Round two. Come on. You got this. You can at least take out one more. Oh, I was hoping it would crit. Damn it. Bye. Oh my god, she's so good. She's so good. Ow. Can we not? Ow. One more time. Can we not? Stop it. Hate that. Everything that we just did, I hated. Um... Yeah. Bye. We're done. Get out of here. Don't want any part of it. Oh, beautiful. Morgan finish him off. Or whatever that thing is. And crits. <laughs> she does so much damage. She does so much damage. It's dumb. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, I am. Oh, she's so good. Alright, and it begins. The rest of the Lost Belts. Or this particular one, at least. Did we get them? Are they gone? I was not expecting to do two break bars there. Uh, oh, man. They were way stronger than I was expecting. Were those British ghosts or something? Child with further... Oh, God, we're forgetting who she is. I guess we managed to drive them away since they're gone now, but it really doesn't feel like we actually beat them at all. Grieving Knight, I have to agree. Their sheer vitality was astonishing. I don't think those were ghosts at all. They were so unusual and so seeped in mystics that they almost seemed like... No, never mind. That... For now, for the time being, I must command you all uh, you, on a job well done, Master. I was concerned when you said you couldn't summon heroic spirits here in Britain. So it's great, to, it's a great relief to see that it's still possible to summon them temporarily for battle. Uh, yeah, I'm glad it worked out too, though it did leave me really tired. Yeah, that Yep, I was watching you and you were definitely using much more magical energy than usual. So we'll need to... Oh, whoopsie. Uh, 
So, so we'll need to try and avoid fighting as much as possible since you're, since you convert your own vitality into magical energy. Oh no. Bash? Is something wrong? The Black Barrel. No. The whole order that order next. It's not working any, right anymore. Oh god, Mosh is down. Mosh? Are you okay? Mosh? What the hell? Mosh? Who's a Mosh? Eggplant? Did something happen to them? I can sense them close by. No, wait. They're getting further away. This is not good. It's too easy to get separated in this fog. I mean, it's a freaking pea soup right now. Let's call them out. Ah, uh, what were their names again? I think they were, were, wait, what's my name? Wait, you're, what you, with the red hair, come back. Oh God, we're fucked. You with the red hair. Oh, hit the, hit the button. What was I doing again? No, wait. Who am I? Yup, name us Forest Crap. And we're done. God damn it. <laughs> Knocked the fuck out. What's happening? Uh oh. And here I thought I might arrive early! Huh? It's because I took my sweet time? Well, you can't blame me for that. These are my very first guests. It's only right to look you look your best for guests. Besides, I'd say this boy and his companions made a pretty big mistake too. I mean, no one in their right mind would ever think to go into the nameless wo I knew it was the nameless woods. Without any protection. I guess this just goes to show how brave this master of Chaldea really is. Don't you think, Blanca? Moth held by... Question mark, question mark? Hmm? Am I really going to trust these outsiders? Yes, I will. I'll trust them with all my soul. Sure, I still had my suspicions up until I saw them in person, but now I can tell. They're real deal, as crazy as it sounds. They're dead serious about saving this world. Oh, yes, I'm definitely glad I waited for them now. That's right, Blanca. It's finally time for me to get serious, too. Hello, Bron. Hmm. See, we've got a few local fairies here. One, two, three, four. That's a couple too many for me. Fortunately, it looks like they're a good-natured sort. I'm sure they'll rescue the Caldeans. In the meantime, I think I'll make my way back for now and save our faithful encounter for another time. Good luck, Chaldean lad. I suggest you start by getting familiar with Britain's ambience. Oh, and one more very important thing. Whatever you do, don't let anyone know you're human. Oh dear. That's not ominous at all. I'm gonna explode if, I if people find out I'm human, aren't I? I'm gonna explode. It's not going to be good for me. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Ooh, another battle. Uh, how much time do we have? About 9.18. Let's go for a little bit while longer. Maybe up until this next portion here. And then we'll call stream. I know we just got into it things. But, like, Bob, I was not expecting the Lost Belt. The, I was not expecting the, the, the rolls to go as long as they did. But I'm happy that they did. We're gonna do. We'll do more of the Lost Belt stuff tomorrow, so I'll be able to dedicate my time, my entire time, stream time, to it. So let's go. What happens next? I wanna know. I wanna know. I wanna know. I wanna know. Bosh. Oh yeah. She got. She's affected by the Nameless Woods as well. I had a feeling. Like I thought it was called the Nameless Woods. Had a feeling. Bosh. Let's go high, come back. <laughs> hey, I woke up. Ooh. <gasps> Yay! It's her! Uh, I was expecting you to I see her so soon! Hi, Castoria! 
And now the party is here. We're all golden. Oh good, you're awake! You don't seem to be injured, and I don't think your life's in any danger. But if you're hurting anywhere, please let me know. I still have a lot to learn, but I can at least perform basic first aid. You're... Somebody. Uh, not Mosh. Mosh? Oh, is she, or do we think she's Mosh? Oh, right. That does sound like it's my name. Really? You sure about that? Phew, thank goodness. I was having trouble remembering who I am, too. So, my name's Mosh, huh? I like it. It's short, soft, and unique. And hey, if you know my name, that must mean we're really, we are, we're really our friends. I knew it. Anyway, good morning, Lysander. Do you know where you are right now? L like, Lysander? What's a Lysander? Where am I? Lysander? Huh? Um, your name is Lysander, right? I mean, that's what's on your name tag. Apparently, we all collapsed in the Nables Woods. Do you know about the Nables Woods? The fog is so thick there in there that as soon as you set foot inside, you can never find your way back. The more lost you get, the more you forget, and eventually, you only remember your own name or who you are. Basically, it's a forest of no return, one of the most dangerous fey domains in all of the Britain. I wonder what it is we were doing in a place like that. Maybe something really nasty happened to us. I don't know. You know? Like when everyone at your table orders ginger ale, but for some reason you end up getting so <laughs> I love the fact that you guys have ginger ale here, but that's awesome. Lysander? 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 What's wrong? Why are you holding your head like that? Oh no, did you hit your head in the woods? Do you have a concussion? Or a fractured skull? Or need to... Need... Or need to get smacked? Something like that? No, it's nothing like that. I suspect it's simply that he doesn't know who he is. Hey, Tristan! And not just himself. I doubt he remembers you, me, or anything else about this place. I certainly can't. The only thing I do remember is that I serve him loyally. Even now, I know I would have no qualms about laying down my life to keep him safe. Aw. God, you're... God! It's so good. They can't remember. Is there a cureness to this nameless forest shit? Please, don't strain yourself, my lord. I am Assault Bestinclus. No, wait, that's not right. <laughs> yes, I remember that. My name is Tristram. I'm sure of it. Close enough. See? It's written right here on on old e English on my this name tag made from a leaf. Obviously proud. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. I can barely make it out though. Who wrote it? Six year old? <laughs> Indeed. Now we now know that you are Lysander. I am Tristram, and she's Mosh. Heh <laughs> I can say without absolute confidence that we three are trusted companions who wound up stranded together. Super proud. <laughs> yeah. That must be it. High five! <laughs> well, we're just going with it. That's great. Yeah! <laughs> was not expecting that. That was awesome. What's old English? Bosh, don't worry about it. N new Bosh, don't worry about it. So, we don't know who we are, and we can't even remember where we came from? But we do know that there is something important we need to do. And we must have entered the Nameless Woods to accomplish it, in spite of the risk. I thought we were on the shore, but maybe it's a forest? Yeah, right, I totally get what you're talking about. Correct. The only other things we know are that, even among my colleagues, I am a peerless genius, a master poet, and a peerless archer. I'm sorry I can't tell you more. I see. So he doesn't know anything. What about you, Mosh? Well, you can tell me about yourself. Well, it's pretty much the same for me as it is for you two. It kind of feels like I lost a lot of belongings. At any rate... What I do know is that we are we all collapsed in the nameless woods. Then some fa fairies from the, this village found us and brought us here. So next question is, why did they do that? Are they slave traders? Oh God, I think they've heard that's a big problem these days. I, I hate that. Oh man, I don't even want to think about that. But if that's what this village is for, then can we not? Oh, they're pretty. I love their... 
Left their wing. Hello. Are you all awake now? Hey! Oh, I'm sorry. If I startled you, I heard the voices, so... Anyway, um, the others said I should come and fetch you all. I mean, it is going to be night soon, so, you know. Do you know this person, Lysander? No, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. They're, they're cute, though. I see. Well, I don't sense any hostile intent from her. She seems to me to me to be a good-hearted person. Or rather, fae. She totally looks like a fairy from, well, a fairy tale, right? Uh, um... Yes? C can you still not move? I in that case, we can talk later. Oh, but if I go back without you, everyone will scold me for being useless again. Are you talking about the other fairies from this village? Don't worry, you can go back ahead of us. We'll be right there as soon as we're done talking. This music is so good. I love the ambience. We'll be sure to tell the others that you were the one that who fetched us. Th then I really was useful this time. Oh, I'm so glad. Th th thank you so much. Please come to the town square when you're ready. Everyone else is there. S see you there. Bye. There she goes. So maybe we should head outside too? And not hopefully pass out in because of concussions? Yes, I guess we should. I'm still concerned, but it doesn't look like their staying in here, here will help anything. Besides, no matter what they ask us, we can honestly say we don't remember a single thing. So at least we shouldn't be suspected of being from a bad city or supporting the wrong queen or anything like that. Wait, what? what what's up, Tristan? Did, did, did you had words? Oh! Look at all those fake folk! These the ones that almost died in the woods? God damn it, I've never seen humanoids without wings before. I swear, what the wind clan comes to these days. <laughs> Please don't lump us in with the likes of them. These fae don't have so much as a hint of wing stumps. They must be criminals who had their wings torn off as a part of their punishment. They probably came here while trying to escape Darling Darlington. Pathetic. Just look at their twee little limbs. The one, the only good thing those be good for is firewood. Then maybe we ought to chop them up and make a fire out of them. Now right up the night up. Can we not? They're full of dark fairy tale kind of world. This is a full of dark fairy tale kind of world. Hold on. Let's hear what they have to say first. That is our rule after all. You there. What is your clan? Your name? Which city do you hail from? What is you came here to Cornwall to escape. I, um, I'm afraid we can't tell you. The only thing we know is our names. We don't know where we came from or why we came here or our goals was nothing. Are you kidding me? You don't even know what city you're from? <laughs> Haven't got, even gotten a goal, huh? God damn it, that's awful. It's terrible. It just ain't right. And here I was hoping we could get some ni nice ransom out of them. Wait, what? Guess there's only one thing left to do with them now, then. Indeed. Now that things have come to this. Up, oh, only one thing to do. Whatever the thing is, I don't like it. I hate it. We'll have to look after them. We'll just have to look after them for ourselves. You hear that, everyone? We got new friends. Oh, my God. That kind of scared me in there. Good Lord. New friend. This goes for a celebration. Here we're all a bunch of nameless, worthless failures without anywhere left to live. We've been strung up, pelted with rocks, and before we knew it, we found ourselves here on the tippy tip of the aisle. Nobody likes us. We're all gone by tomorrow. Even the queen herself won't come into the nameless woods we call home. Wow, that's kind of depressing. So welcome, comrades, to Cornwall, the Dead End Village. You guys had a hard life, right? You've already suffered enough, right? If we're all just a bunch of burnouts anyway, we might as well kick back and relax and enjoy life here. Uh, yeah, I'm with you there, dude. Uh, huh? <laughs> Good lord. So these are the reject fae. I don't think I can eat another bite. God damn, stop making me hungry. I'm gonna eat after this. I can't believe the party they threw to welcome us is still going on into the night. The these fairies are so nice. 
I was also surprised to see what good, good conversationalist you are, Lysander. You seem a little bit a little sure of yourself at first, but you start talking to the Fae bo and from both the Wind Clan and the Earth Clan without any annotation. Even though everyone in Fae Fairy Britain knows you're supposed to pick one to, to decide with. Uh, fa fa Fairy Britain? Fa fa Fae Britain? Huh? You mean you forgot about that too? Really? Yeah, this is going to be a problem. The Nameless Wood only makes you forget yourself. You should still be able to remember the customs you need to know to survive. At least, that's what I've heard. What about you, Tristram? Tristram, good lord. Tristram, do you remember anything about fairy, of the fairy Britain, the land of the Fae? <laughs> His face. I guess you're in the same boat as Lysander then. Alright, I'll catch you two up. Tell me. I, know, I don't know a great deal about the world, but I've at least been taught the basics. All right, everyone, quiet, please. It's time to end today's festivities. I know how you all feel, but there's nothing we can do about Nightfall. We'll just have to resume the welcome party tomorrow. Guess it go just goes to show how time flies when you're having fun. All right, everybody, let's head to our homes. Later, Alexander. Later, Mash. Later, a few words, Tristram. See that roof over there? That tent's yours. Go ahead and hide out there until morning. You there. Show the sender and his companions to their dwelling, won't you? Better hurry up. Knowing her, you'll just get even more injured if you take your time. Yeah, don't get carried away and start talking them down, taking them down the, any, up, any side paths. Got it? If you do that, no one will be able to find you guys once night gets here. Y yes, I know. I I'll be fine. Thank you for giving me this job. If you'll follow me, everyone, I'll show you back to the tent that become, becomes your territory. Yay? Why is Tristan being silent? Is he waiting for everybody to leave to tell us something? Well, good night. Don't worry, this tent may be a ways away from the town square, but it's still well within the village. I promise you'll be able to relax and sleep without any forest animals coming in. Bye! Whatever your name is, she just left with no, with no more than polite courtesy. Okay. I'm sure you're both tired after talking so with so many fairies. I, but I think we should finish our conversation from earlier before we get to sleep. Fairy Britain, as you can probably tell by the name, is a land of the Fae. You do know that much, right? Uh, yeah, more or less. Maybe. Good. Then next, we'll have to different kinds of fairies. Oh, wait, what? There's more? It would take several, take hours to go into the, all the details that differentiates the very kind of fairies. So for now, let's just focus on the, board, the broader clans. The clans representing the land of the Fae different races. There are the Wind Clan, the Earth Clan, the Fang Clan, which we just saw bits of, the Wind Clan, the Mirror Clan, the, and the King Clan. Members of the Wind Clan, like Holobaromaya, are humanoids, fairy that looks just like humans, basically. They're all very rational and peaceful, and they have excellent Fae markings. Members of the Earth Clan, like Onfam, are solid, stout, and stocky humans. So the dwarves. They're the hardest working of all the clans, so we need their so we need their help to make roads and bridges, buildings. Members of the fake clan like Doka are basically wolves that live as one with the land. So beast people. They love to fight and they're very good at it. It's even said that we fake folk wouldn't be here today if it weren't for the fake clan fighting for us. As for the wing and mirror clans, well. There aren't many rumors about the Wing Clan, so I don't know much about them. And the Mirror Clan used to be the most popular clan in all of Fairy Britain, but then a few years ago, they disappeared along with their entire city. I feel like a certain queen had something to do with that. What about the King Clan? Huh, do you really want to know this? The King Clan is the biggest bunch of good-for-nothings in all the land. The only thing they ever make is trouble. Even though they're only one of them left, she looks down her nose at all the other clans like she's so much better than us. I mean, who goes around bragging to a sweet, innocent country girl about how great life is in the big city? <laughs> what is with that face? That is the most Altoria face ever! Holy shit, I love it. Then there's those flamboyant clothes she wears and 
all her servants and her oh so cool plan for the future. Ah, I wish she'd just die. Agape. Note to self, do not mention King Clan around Mash ever again. <laughs> Sorry, that may have seemed entirely unfair. Please, just forget I said anything. The King Clan is kind of a special case. You see, there's really only one of them. But she's also kind of a, well, protective Queen Bee type who welcomes anyone, anyone who serves her as a King Clan member in their own right. If you ever have the misfortune of meeting her yourself one day, Lysander, you'll see what I mean. I feel like we're going to see her. It's obvious to pretty much anyone with eyes. Everything about, from, about her, from the way she looks to the way she acts, just screams, Yikes! She's a real piece of work! Her and I even make contact! Or she'll run, um, she'll ruin my whole life! <laughs> Castoria is fucking savage! Holy shit! On a different subject, are you okay, Tristram? You seemed on edge for a while now. That's because I am. No, it wouldn't be a stench. Uh, it wouldn't be a stretch to say I'm afraid. I haven't had a moment rest ever since we went to the town square. The village may have seemed weak, even feeble to the two of you. But while I may lack my memories, I do know that they are to be feared merely by dicks of being fey folk. Even that fey girl who showed us the way to the square holds some manner of mystic. So they're all exceptionally powerful. So essentially we're out the we're, we're essentially outgunned so long as we keep on their good side. Or if we get on their bad side. They, they may not they may not have said anything about it, but they have power far beyond any human. Just remember, it would be an easy thing for these fairies to slaughter all of us if they decided to do so. Ah, how terrifying. Yeah, that's kind of... That's that's not cool. Yeah, we better be careful. I guess you must have served in the military at, at one point, Tristram. I can't even imagine two fairies fighting each other. Maybe I could see if one, uh, one of the pers... I mean, soldiers serve, who serve the queen in their castle... But I was taught that fairies always resolve their differences through peaceful discussions, no matter what they may be. Well, I suppose there might be an occasional such an exception to the rule. But there wasn't a single fairy at the town square who disliked us. You may be right. We certainly didn't sense any hostility from them, but we should still be careful. Of course! They're not dangerous at all! They're all so peaceful! It's almost hard to believe... Hmm? What? Forgive us. Forgive us. No more prayers. Close your eyes. There's not much fun time left. The veil has fallen. Extinguish the light. Today is ending. Farewell. This day, too, will end forever. Forgive us. Forgive us. Forgive us our big of our sins. It's too late to do anything now, but make sure everything is cleaned up. I feel like we shouldn't leave our tent. It looks like it's time for lights now, out now. Let's pick this back up tomorrow. I hate to do anything to upset them after they've been so welcoming to us. Sounds good to me. How about you, Tristram? What, what, what's up? What are you doing? Dying quietly. He's still on guard. Let's see. This must be it. Oh, wow. Is this one of those new glass lamps that are all the rage right now? There must be an Earth Clan fairy or two from Nordwick here. I have to track them down tomorrow. Well, lights out. Anyway, good night, Lysander. Good night, Tristram. You know, I was kind of worried when I first woke up, but I'm so glad you two turned out to be good people. Good night, Mosh. Huh? Why did you stop? What's that? You didn't feel right saying it? I see. Well, that makes sense. It must be a very important name to you. It's okay, Lysander. These things happen. Okay, good night. For real this time. For realsies. For realsy, realsy, woozy, woozy. <laughs> Oh, boy. And then we have another one coming up. All right. Okay, guys. So, we're only it's still in the first chapter, but we still got quite a bit of stuff to do here. So, I'm going to go ahead and call stream here. Tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, normal time for me, we will be continuing on the rest of Avalon Le Fay, or at least as much as you humanly possibly can. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. I'm, I'm honestly super excited. It, it, this is... 
of all the stories of of all the lost belt stories this is the one that i've been looking forward to the most ever since it came out two years ago and so far we are in for a lot of shit i cannot wait till we see morgan the other fade knights and the dark little secrets that this particular land that the fae has but something to look forward to tomorrow but let's go ahead to the chatting screen and then see who we can raid though i think you guys know who we're going to raid Boop. Okie dokie, so let's go ahead and just double check and see if she is still streaming right now, and it does look like she is. Okay, so as I said before, if you we're gonna we're gonna continue on this FGO trade by going and saying hi to Cosmic Chaya and see how she's doing as far as her little journey towards Lost Belt 6 as well. God, guys, this has been an amazing stream. I freaking adore this. This was a lot of fun. Again, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me and the fact that we, you, with your power combined, we were able to get the waifu to come home, which I'm still bored about. I, I can't. I can't. I can't. But I'm going to go get ahead and get some food in me. Um, we're going to do, as always, guys, please do a give Chaya a good old chaotic raid as we do. And if you're just coming in right now, Chaya was just here giving us some um, luck while doing Gotcha Hell as well. Um, but she is a fantastic streamer. Does a lot, does a lot of FGO, but does some other variety games as well as a super talented artist. She is amazing, fun to be around, loves bats, has a trash crew to hang it around, causing mischief. She's awesome people. But all right, guys, we're going to go ahead and go offline and bug a child. And I will see you guys tomorrow for more Avalon of the Fae. But until then, as always, guys, be you, be safe, and have a good night. Take care. Bye.